Ever wonder where that piece of trash ends up that you put in the garbage can at home or school? Well, when the garbage can inside your home or classroom is full, it's taken outside and placed in a larger trash can or dumpster. Eventually, a garbage truck comes by and picks up the trash and takes it to a large open space called a landfill. When the landfill becomes full with trash, it's closed and we have to find a new place for all of our trash to go. Sometimes we throw things away in the trash that can be used again. They can be recycled. Recycling means taking something you were going to throw in the trash, such as a piece of paper, and turning it into something new and useful like a book. Things made of glass, metal, and certain plastics can also be recycled. In addition to recycling, we can make choices that help reduce the amount of waste we create in the first place. One way to reduce waste is to pack a zero waste lunch when you are eating away from home. To pack a zero waste lunch at home, you will need a reusable lunch box or bag, cloth sandwich bags, reusable containers and thermoses, metal or wooden utensils, a cloth napkin, a reusable water bottle, a metal or wooden straw, and a reusable frozen cooler block. Step 1. Decide what you would like to take with you for lunch. Step 2. Look through your reusable containers and decide which ones would work best for the food items that you are planning to eat for lunch. Step 3. Pack your food into reusable containers. Things like sandwiches can be placed inside reusable cloth sandwich bags, reusable containers with lids, or even beeswax wraps, which you can mold around food items using the warmth of your hands. Smaller snacks like carrots, chips, and hummus can go into smaller reusable containers. Hot items like soup and rice dishes can be placed in reusable thermoses to keep them warm. Step 4. Place all containers filled with your lunch items into a reusable lunchbox or bag. Step 5. If it will be a while before you are going to eat your lunch and you want to ensure that it stays fresh, you can include a reusable cooler block from your freezer. Step 6. Don't forget to add a cloth napkin and reusable utensils. Step 7. Remember to include a drink so that you can stay hydrated. Step 8. Be sure to bring your zero waste lunch with you when you go and enjoy it when you're ready. If you end up with any food scraps like a banana peel, it can be composted. Composting means that we allow food scraps and other organic items such as napkins, tea bags, and coffee grounds to decompose or rot into compost which can be used in our gardens and help plants grow. Other ideas for living more sustainably at home include using bar, dish, hand, and bath soap, shampoos, and deodorants instead of liquids that come in plastic bottles, using reusable wool dryer balls instead of disposable fabric dryer sheets, buying groceries and other goods with minimal and sustainable packaging, buying food in bulk rather than individually wrapped snack size packets, and using compostable toothbrushes made from bamboo. You can even use toothpaste tablets or make your own toothpaste at home. This zero waste lunch activity comes from our kindergarten zero waste heroes lesson, but we feel that people of all ages would benefit from learning how to pack a zero waste lunch and live more sustainably.